Creating content that helps you rank higher in search engines is a time consuming process, or at least it used to be. My name is Nick Nalbach, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use ChatGPT for SEO content writing step by step. So let's get started. First things first, we're going to need to find a topic and do a little bit of keyword research. So understanding your audience is crucial to creating content that ranks. Yes, optimizing the content for search engines is a very crucial step in actually ranking for search engines, but we also have to keep in mind the people that are going to be consuming the content. Because if they click on your blog post and then leave, that's not going to help you very well in the search rankings. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over to good old fashioned Google and we're going to type in a topic that we want to write an article about. So I said best format for podcast episode show notes. We're going to see what other people are writing about on this topic first. So Riverside.fm broke down podcast show notes, including templates, which I think is a nice touch. What are podcast show notes? Show notes versus a summary. Why podcast show notes are so important. And we can see they also have a video included in here as well, which is good to note. Okay, so looking at this article, we get a pretty good idea as to what type of content they're writing about. Let's take a look at the next one, and then we'll get into some keyword research. So again, three templates. This is a reoccurring theme. This is something we definitely want in our articles. The reason we're looking at all these different articles that are showing up in Google right away is because we want to see what is actually working for people right now. And it's very clear just looking at the top three articles here that they all include templates. People are liking the templates. Google's liking the templates. And if we're going to write an article about this, we better include a template. As you scroll down these articles, you get a good idea of what these articles are about, how they're structuring them. Some of them actually include video as well. So all things to consider when we're building our own blog post. So now that we've taken some notes on some things that these other articles are doing, let's do a little bit of keyword research. Here, I'm going to use SEM Rush because it is a super powerful keyword research competitor analysis tool. And we can actually see what keywords these articles are ranking for that we would want to target in our own articles. Okay, just note that SEMrush is a paid platform. There are other keyword research tools like Keyword Planner, but SEMrush is by far way more powerful. And you're going to see why once we dive into this here in just a minute. I will put a link to SEMrush in the description. Just note that it is an affiliate link. So if you do choose to purchase through that, I will earn a small commission at no additional cost to you, but just felt like you should know that. Okay. So to start, I'm going to take the link from the Riverside article that we did, that the top ranking article here, and I'm going to put it into SEMrush and we're going to hit search. Okay. Now I'm going to scroll down here to the top organic keywords, click view all or view details. Now here we can see all the different keywords that they are ranking for on that specific article. So we have podcast show notes, examples, podcast show notes, podcast show notes, examples, again, show notes, podcast, how to create podcast show notes. Now these keywords are all great to note and notice, but there's two things we want to look at here. One is the keyword volume and two is the keyword difficulty or KD percentage. Volume is going to tell us approximately how many people are searching for this keyword every single month and KD or keyword difficulty percentage is going to tell us how difficult this keyword is to rank for. Now your first thought might be look for the keyword here with the largest possible volume and that's the keyword you want to target and that's not always the case. As you can see, show notes by itself has 1.6 thousand people searching for it every single month, but it is one of the more difficult keywords to rank for on this list. So if we have a newer website, this might be a little bit more difficult for you to rank for right out of the gate. But if we can incorporate some of these smaller volume keywords, like how to create podcast show notes, that's got a search volume of 20. It's easier to rank for how to create show notes for a podcast. It's got 20 also easier to rank for. If we can start ranking for those keywords first, it's going to give us a much better chance of ranking for these higher volume keywords later on down the road. So don't get overwhelmed by the low search volume. We still want to rank for these keywords. Okay. So I'm going to choose to use how to create podcast show notes. I think this is a broad enough keyword where we can target many different keywords inside of this. It really encapsulates what we're going for with this article. So how to create podcast show notes. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to jump over into chat GPT and we're going to start generating our first draft for this article. Okay. Once we get over into chat GPT, note that there is a 3.5 in GPT-4. GPT-4 is a part of chat GPT plus, which is a paid program. But for the sake of this example, we're just going to use 3.5 to run through the exercise here. Just note on chat GPT plus, you do get a lot more functionality. You get things like the plugins or the code interpreter or brand new is chat GPT custom instructions, which I plan to do a video on in the very near future. But for the sake of this video, we're just going to use the free version of chat GPT. Okay. So to start, I went ahead and I copied out some of the titles from the top ranking podcast articles. We're going to tell chat GPT that we want to come up with a title for our own blog post. Okay. So for this first prompt, I said, act as an expert blogger and SEO specialist. I want you to write a blog post about how to create podcast show notes and target that as my main keyword. Here are five titles related to this topic. Help me create five different, but similar article titles targeting this keyword. I'll paste my title examples here. Okay. So now it gave me five different article titles, crafting, engaging podcast show notes, a step-by-step -step guide, podcast show notes, 
templates made easy, templates and tips for creators. These are all pretty good, but it doesn't use our keyword how to create a podcast show notes. But that's okay because we can use some of these as inspiration and just work in our own keyword in something else that ChatGPT already generated for us. So here I took a couple examples that ChatGPT gave me and worked in my keyword, borrowing some of the ideas from ChatGPT's title suggestions. How to create podcast show notes, episode summaries made easy. So I'm saying we're going to use this as our title, help me write an outline for a blog post article on this topic. Now, before we hit send on this, I'm actually going to give ChatGPT parts of this outline already. And we're going to use some of the stuff that we found in the other articles to build out the main structure of this outline. So here I pasted in a couple different subheadings that we could potentially use for our post that I want ChatGPT to basically incorporate into its outline. Now, if we were using ChatGPT Plus, we could copy and paste these entire articles over into like a Word document and use Code Interpreter and have ChatGPT kind of do this kind of work for us. But since we're just using the free version, simple enough to just copy and paste into ChatGPT. Now, before we hit send, I just said, feel free to add additional subheadings and topics to this outline. And now we're going to hit send. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have. The introduction briefly introduced the importance of podcast show notes for content creators, mentioned the goal of the article to help readers create compelling episode summaries. That sounds good. What are podcast show notes? Define podcast show notes and their role in enhancing the podcast listening and experience. Highlight how they can provide additional context, information, and value to the audience. Again, not wrong. Okay, so we get a pretty good idea here. You can see how to get how to create great podcast show notes, best practices. We have multiple subheadings that are in here as well, which is great. Podcast show notes tend templates. Again, perfect and exactly what we want. So at this point, we can either come into ChatGPT and tell it to change things about this article outline, or we can start creating the article itself. And now if this outline was way off the mark, it wasn't even close to what we were going for, we can actually come back up and change the prompt that we put in here to begin with. We could just enter in here, change whatever we want about the prompt, and then save and submit. And ChatGPT will go and regenerate this entire outline based on the new prompt that you put in. I think we're pretty good with this article. We're going to keep it as is. Now let's actually start writing the blog post itself. Now, as you probably could tell while we were looking at the articles, these are all pretty in depth. Now, if I were to just tell ChatGPT to write a blog post based on this outline alone, it's not going to give us that much depth to the article that we want. It might hit on all of these points in the outline, but it's likely going to give us a small paragraph for every single one. And we want this to be a more extensive article. Rather than it generating the entire blog post, we're going to start generating this blog post piece by piece. Now, here's what I mean by that. All right, let's start writing a blog post based on this outline. I want to write this section by section, starting with the introduction. Now, here's where you can include some guidelines to ChatGPT as to how you want to write these individual sections. So for the introduction, I'm going to include a few guidelines for ChatGPT for how I want the introduction for this article. So my entire prompt here, let's start writing a blog post based on the outline. I want to write this section by section, starting with the introduction. Keep the introduction brief, mention the main problem the reader has, and how this article will solve their problem. And be sure to include how to create podcast show notes keyword in the article. Let's hit send. So definitely not as brief as I want it to be. And actually, we can see that it said, welcome, next gen podcaster. So this comes from the custom instructions that I set. But nonetheless, you should end up with something fairly similar. We're just going to leave this as is. We're going to come back and we're going to edit all this anyway. So let's just keep moving on with the blog post. Let's write the next section. Okay, so now you can see we have the next section written. This is this is kind of the point that I was making before. You can see that we've got one, two, three, four, four and a half paragraphs just for this one section. Had we gone and asked ChatGPT to write the entire blog post, we likely would have got one paragraph for every single section. It would have been a complete blog post. It would have hit on all the topics, but the top, like the headlines themselves wouldn't have been as in depth, which is why we want to build this out section by section. It's a little more time consuming, but definitely worth it in the long run. So let's continue going. All right, let's write the next section. Okay, so now we have podcast show notes versus podcast summary. Now we're just going to keep going down the line and have ChatGPT generate this entire article for us. Okay, so boom, we have all of these sections written. And as you can tell, this is a pretty extensive blog post. This isn't just a paragraph for every single section. We hit every single one of these outline items and each section is pretty in depth, which is exactly what we're going for here. We want the best possible article about this topic to truly rank for this keyword and start bringing in some of that traffic to our own website. Now, the next step is we want to edit this article. So we can copy this over into something like WordPress or Google Doc or Microsoft Word or wherever you actually want to edit this article and get it all into one place. Okay, now the last thing that we're going to do in ChatGPT before we start getting into all the editing is to create an SEO meta description. So I'm going to tell ChatGPT GPT to write an SEO description for this article. Be sure to use the keyword how to create podcast show notes and make sure 
The description is under 155 characters. The meta description is that little block of text that shows up under the search listing itself, and it can only handle so many characters before it gets cut off. That's 155 characters. We want to make sure that this stays under. So master the art of creating engaging podcast show notes with our guide. Learn how to create podcast show notes to grow your audience. We're not going to use a emoji or hashtag in this meta description, but this isn't a bad meta description. We might just adjust the words around a little bit so that we can use the exact keyword that we're going for here, but not bad. All right, we have the entire article copied over from ChatGPT into Microsoft Word, and this is the part that we actually have to go through and edit this blog post. ChatGPT gave us a really great jumping off point, but we need to make this unique. We need to make this ours, and we need to write it for our audience. ChatGPT doesn't necessarily know who our audience is. In order to rank online, we need to be writing for the audience. This is going to be the most time-consuming part of this entire process, but I guarantee it's going to be a lot quicker to edit the article that you already have here than starting and writing completely completely from scratch. So as an example, I know that this introduction, I wanted this to be a very brief introduction. This is way too long for me. I, I don't want my introduction to be this long. So I might trim this up. I might reword a couple things and cut this down to maybe a paragraph. But then I'm going to go through each of these different sections and I'm going to read through and I'm going to see what doesn't sound like me, what needs to be changed, what should I just eliminate entirely. There could be entire sections of this article that you just completely remove and that's okay because it's your article. But definitely, definitely, definitely don't skip this step. This is what's going to add your own voice into the article and what's ultimately going to attract listeners to your kind of content. And while AI can generate great content, it's important to add your personal touch. Now, the last thing you want to do is maybe go back through the article and make sure that we're using more variations of the keywords that are in this list that we looked at before. We could include podcast show notes template, which we already have in there, podcast show notes generator, podcast notes, AI podcast show notes. These are all different articles that maybe would fit into our article that would just increase our chances of ranking. Once you have have that done, you're done. Then you can hit publish on that article and hopefully start ranking for some of these keywords. The key is consistency here. Publishing one article every other month isn't going to do you any good. We just saw how easy it is to generate articles for your website using tools like ChatGPT. This will just make it easier for you to stay consistent on a weekly basis and ultimately start ranking for more keywords and bringing more traffic to your website, to your podcast, to your business. Now, if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, hit that subscribe button where we're going to be talking all about content creation using AI to to get more done in less time. So thanks for sticking through all the way to the end and we'll see you in the next one.